Now I'll start actually building these habitats that we're going to be using for the snow leopard, as well as uh, whatever the other creature was called. I forgot what it was called. Uh, yeah, let's not start out with a gate just yet, because we don't I, don't. I don't know exactly where uh, we're actually going to put that. I did have this idea, just kind of in the back of my head. Like, we could have an enclosure here, a habitat here, for the snow leopard. I'm like, it, it doesn't even have to be that big. It, it'll probably be like this big. And then I guess we'll have another enclosure here. Another enclosure here. Maybe another one here. Uh, I don't know. We might be able to flatten this out or something like that. Or maybe put more staff uh, stuff up there, perhaps. But I was thinking about putting like a bunch of habitats right here, you know? And then, of course, we have this main pathway right here. But, of course, from this pathway, you don't, you don't get a full view of the creatures, right? But we have these cliffs here. And because it's a quarry and it's like the most random place to put a zoo, <laughs> I was thinking, why don't we take advantage of these cliffs? Put paths up here. Like, this this only has room for a path, you know? So, unless, of course, I, like, chop this down a little bit, which I probably won't do. But we put a path up here. Make it go all the way along this bit right here. All the way around this. But also, have it come out. And even, like, go above the habitats over here. I think that'd be pretty cool, you guys. And then it'd even, like, follow this path right here. So it'd go, it'd go, like, from here. It'd be floating. And then it'd be above. That way... You can get a full picture view of the habitat from above. Like from up here. That seems rather unique and it's really taken advantage of this quarry situation that we have, you know? So I like that idea. I think we're going to mess around with that. So I guess we'll just make these habitats over here. And then, of course, for the snow leopard, I do want to experiment around, maybe give them like a cave or something like that. So uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll give him this one right here just so, just so we can like dig over here and maybe give him a cave and that'll count as his hard. Uh, uh, or shelter rating or whatever. So, anyways, for right now, I, I do want to go check on the snow leopard. Uh, was it require like habitat wise? Uh, there it is right there. Let's see. It needs grade two climb proof. Okay, so we we don't have to get anything too fancy for it. So we can get away with wood, I think, right? Yeah, that's grade three. So yeah, we can get away with wood. Oh yeah, that's what we used back in uh, the Canadian park, right? Yeah. So we could use that, and of course, make it climb proof at the top. So that'll be good. So starting out here, where should we go? And what was it again? Gr uh, greater than 10 feet? Yes, greater than 10 feet. So we're going to make this just a little bit taller because it always starts out at like 6 feet for some strange reason. So I wonder if I could actually change that because it always defaults to 6.56, which is strange. Either way, let's go over to greater than 10. So let's go to 10.02 like we usually do, right? <laughs> just so it's barely a tick above that, right? Uh, there you go. And uh, let's just go all the way back here, shall we? And now that's... I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to end up putting a null barrier here. But for right now, we, we do need something actually touching the, the wall there. Oh, what happened to my, uh... My, oh, there you go. Yeah, we do not definitely need at least something touching the wall here. Uh, probably not that long, uh... Maybe go down, like, maybe 10 feet. Yeah, so something like this, maybe. Although that is... Like, climbable, I'd say. Like, look at that. Look at that. That's not super-duper steep. I'm gonna make it go... Oh, man. Maybe I will make it go up to, like... Huh. Let's go up to that there. And then maybe a little bit more. Maybe like another seven feet. Is that fine? I don't know. I I hope that's fine. I'm like, I don't want this guy hecking escaping or anything like that, you know? So Yeah, I guess for right here this will be good, I'd say. There you go. So there's that. And then I guess we'll do no barriers from there to here. And then uh from here we'll uh enclose it. So let's go back to like 20 feet, like we just had. And of course. Here in a bit, we'll worry about where to put the habitat, like, gates and all that kind of stuff, as well as putting, like, uh, how big is that? Uh, that might actually be big enough. What was it in? Uh, just so I know the number. 7,500 square feet. Yeah, okay, so it's not even, like, the biggest train like that. If I remember from the last map, which didn't even last too long, that was the India map. Wasn't that elephant area? Wasn't that, like, 12,000? And that wasn't even too big, so... This might actually be like big enough. I'm like, if we're going to, we're going to have multiple snow leopards, right? They gave us two, a male and a female. So I guess having a little bit bigger isn't necessarily a bad thing. So let's just uh, cut it off over to here and come to this wall. And this is rather steep on this bit. So maybe I'll just go down to like seven feet from here. Uh, even though it has seven feet, that's still going up like a ton right there. <laughs> Jeez. What if I make it go up at an angle like that? Yeah. And then let's do some no barriers from here. So let's, uh, let's like set that. Like 30 feet. Uh, there we go. Just like on the super steep bit. And then we'll connect that up. And there it goes. So now we've got no barriers there in the back. That way uh, we don't have to put fences there. Even though we probably could put fences there. But 
I don't think it's really necessary. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we don't have to put fences there, right? Sheesh. But since this is uh, right next to a staff area, I guess we'll put the habitat gate like right. How do I keep hitting that one? I'm like, it says habitat, so maybe that's why. <laughs> But uh, let's put it like right here, just so it's easy to service. And uh, let's actually start editing some of this to have some glass and stuff. So definitely want to have some glass here on the front. That makes sense, right? Don't need it on the sides because I'm going to. I'm, I'm probably going to put another habitat like right there. Probably not going to put a uh, a pathway right here unless I have. I, see, I don't like dead ends. I keep saying this. If I just have a dead end there, I won't like that at all. I don't know. I guess maybe I could. It's just I. I don't want it to get so crowded over there you know so i'll think about it and then i guess i'll change it here in the future if i if i change my mind but for right now i'm just going to make it all glass right there and the glass is tier two right or resistance grade two so that's good and of course it's naturally climb proof but speaking of climb proof these wood ones are not climb proof so let's select these there we go and make them climb proof on is that the correct side i think it is okay nice all right now let's do the same thing on this side over here select you and all the way up to the null barrier that the right side? I think it is. Yep, that's good. All right, nice. Well, now we have the snow leopard area basically done. I'm like, we need to add coolers inside there. And hopefully it's, uh, is it powered? Let me just check. It is. So that's good. As long as the, uh, habitat itself is powered, the coolers inside should be powered from what I remember. So, uh, this might actually only require one cooler, you guys. So there we go. We have one cooler right there. And then, of course, we'll add a... Uh, like snow terrain inside there in just a bit, because I don't know exactly how much they need, if it needs to be all snow or what, but right over here, I'm thinking about experimenting around, like I said, and getting a, I guess if anything, maybe I could make this like even steeper so I don't have to worry about the null barrier. So how would I do that though? Chisel, is that it? It is. Okay, that's the button I was looking for earlier when I was messing around the, uh, the cliff sides and stuff. So yeah, just oh, chisel that. And of course, we'll uh, smooth it out a little bit here at the bottom, just because there's like dips. So let's fix that up right there. And let's try and dig out a cave, shall we? So to do that, I guess we do the push button right here. Yep, see, look at that. I like that. Now, is that, the, is that where I want to put it, though? Or do I want to put it, like, maybe in the center? Or what do I want to do here? Because we could we could even we could push and we could pull, you guys. So we'd have this start to come out a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Of course, it's really smooth. So I'm going to set the in, uh, intensity. Would that be what I'd want to do? You set the intensity down? Maybe, at least for right now. It looks really jaggedy up there. I, I think that's because it's a null barrier, maybe? I don't know. Uh, of course, we could fix that. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, the null barrier is definitely uh, getting in the way of that, so. What if we get rid of the null barrier, at least for right now, while we're messing around with the terrain? And, uh, of course, it's going to be super easy just to add back, so. It's not going to be the biggest deal in the universe to have that missing, at least temporarily, so. Uh, delete that. There you go. Alright, so now, let's, uh, go back to terrain. Let's try and pull yes there you go perfect that's good nice i like that and uh let's kind of round it out pull it out a little bit here and then maybe chisel it in a little bit too just because uh there you go yeah i don't like whenever it hits the ground like that i need to i need to set the size a little bit smaller to make sure it doesn't happen anymore but, uh that seems good then uh let's actually push a little bit here there we go let's actually Start carving out this cave. Now, I don't know how big of a cave we need to have for this guy. For these guys, actually. Is this going to be a male and a female? Intensity size. Let's actually set the intensity maybe a little bit more. There you go, yes. Awesome. So it's kind of like a little cubby right here, you guys. And of course, people can't see inside there, so they can go inside there and get their heart shelter and get their uh you know, until we actually get the two uh, the one-way glass. Because this is completely see-through on both sides. If they get like nervous or uh Whatever you want to call it, like anxiety sort of meme. And uh, they just go inside here and hide, so that'll be good. So let's actually pull, I kind of want to pull the ceiling out just a little bit more, yes. Awesome. And it is, it's, it's really smooth. If I, yeah, that's a little bit too small. Yeah, okay, here we go. Nice. So having a little bit more control over this, and having like sm a smaller brush even adds a little bit, kind of makes it look a little bit more natural and jaggedy. You know, instead of everything just being super duper smooth and stuff, so... There we go, maybe even, uh... Here we go, have some at the bottom, too. Yeah, I like that. I like that. What do you guys think? I think it's really unique of us messing around with a terrain like this. Remember, they've had terrain locked for, like, every scenario up to until now, apparently. And what a scenario for us to mess around with terrain. You know, how fitting. A <laughs> quarry scenario, right? So, 
this is a relatively flat area right here. Uh, speaking of flat, I think I might flatten to terrain or uh, foundation like inside here. Uh, it's hard to. I, I do have my light on, but I can't really see too well inside there because the sun is so harsh. Set this to flat terrain. Just to kind of smooth. Uh, do I want to do that or. Maybe set the intensity down a bit. Maybe the size up. Because it looks like this, this kind of tilts down a little bit. And... Alright, that, that seems fine. I guess going down a little bit isn't necessarily a bad thing, but uh, I think that's actually really good, you guys. I like that. That looks good, and I can only assume it's going to look uh, even better once we add a bunch of snow. So, now let's go back. Let's go add the new null barriers. And uh, just kind of go back over where we just were. So, let's go to null for that. And uh, let's select, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we can actually like go like inside a little bit there. And connect that up. Oh, is that not, why is that not able to connect? Let's go to like 13. Oh, I think it's because it's so steep that, oh, okay. Yeah, see, yeah, I need to get rid of this one. Yeah, see, it was kind of interfering with the uh, the terrain tool there too. So let's get rid of that a little bit right there. And uh, maybe get rid of that one right there too. There we go. And then let's try and fix that terrain because it's really looking jaggedy as heck right there. I do like how jaggedy like looks more natural and stuff, you know, but it's kind of, uh, there we go. That, that looks a bit better there. Okay, let's go back to uh, barrier, add another wood. About right there, there we go. And let's add a null if we can, connect that up. Perfect, all right, nice. Now hopefully they cannot go up that, right? Jeez, I, I hope so. And if they can, of course, we just replace the regular null barriers with actual barriers here in a bit. Speaking of barriers, we have a new barrier right here. We need to make climb proof on that side. E no, that's the wrong side. Ooh, I'm glad I zoomed in on that one because I thought it was the right side for a second. Is that good? I think it's good. All right, nice. Whoa. Oh, maybe I'll make that go in a little bit. Just because this one kind of tilts in a little bit, you know? This one doesn't really tilt in a little bit, so let me edit that. There we go. Yeah, see, I think that's a little bit better. At the same time, I really don't like how it just goes to nothing there, you know? So once again, let's add this to have. There we go, unclimbable on the inside, so that's good. So yeah, there we go. So that should be good for a snow leopard area, I'd say. Uh, how big is this though? We, we can actually see 9,000 square feet. Yeah, that should be fine, I'd say. That should be more than fine. So now we have the snow leopards uh, area pretty much done. How big do we need to make it? What, what was the other crater called again? Okapi, okay, yeah, Okapi. Was that bigger or smaller? I can't remember, area-wise. Okapi, there's right there. I assume that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger. It needs to be a bit bigger. I'm glad I didn't build that one on the edge right here because uh, now we have a little bit more room over here for these guys. And, Maybe even more multiple creatures, because these guys seem like they can intermingle with a, a wide variety of different creatures just by the looks of them. So, uh, oh, I wanted to see. What do they need? Grade two, uh, greater than 4.125 feet. So maybe we'll make like a, a, the default six foot tall. Uh, make, it, make it out of wood, I'd say. Just kind of match the snow leopard barrier over there. So there we go, wood logs. And I don't know, I guess we can have it 10 feet to match the same thing as the snow leopard area there. And like I said earlier, I guess maybe I'll leave some room right there for a path. Let's see how big of a path we're going to put here. Is this, which one is this one? 26 feet, I think? I think we made these 26 feet. So maybe I'll make a, a 20 foot path right here and make the path come out to like right there. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, hopefully it's not going to get too crowded over there. That's, that's the main concern I have about these dead ends and stuff, you know? Uh, unfortunately, I can't make it a little bit longer than that, but there we go, so now, that we know where that is, let's start building the Okapi slash other creature area. So this is going to be its corner. Let's go to 10.02 feet. Even though we only need about like half of that, basically, I kind of want to get the 10.02 just so we have it matching the snow leopard area. So let's actually uh, start building this up now. I don't know, maybe I'll make this wood come out a little bit more, maybe like 10 feet to the right, like that. There we go. Then maybe same thing right here. Another 10 feet there, and then we'll do no barriers here. And uh, we're not, I don't think we're going to put caves here. Maybe in the future we will. But I think right now we'll probably be fine without the caves. Because maybe I'll just make a regular, what do you call it? Uh, like, I'm like, these creatures aren't really cave type creatures, right? It'd be kind of weird seeing like a deer looking thing like in a cave, right? That'd be kind of strange. Although I'm probably going to get comments from people saying, uh, actually, this deer type creature survives inside of caves and hides from lions and stuff inside of caves. That'd be a cool little fun fact, though. Anyways, let's go over here and let's build the uh, null barrier back up. There you go. So now we have that there in the back. And uh, now this area is basically... Oh yeah, let's add 
not only the habitat gateway, but I start adding some glass, not only here in the front, but now that we have that path to the right, and maybe we're going to put another path right there too, just kind of preemptively, you know? Let's, uh, let's add some glass there. And I guess we'll have some, because I want to have some wood, you know? Maybe I'll have, maybe I'll make this glass, and then we'll put the habitat gate right here. That way we could have, you know, room for the uh, caretakers and stuff like that, and keepers and all that kind of stuff, just kind of go inside there and tend to them and stuff. So what was the color that we're doing? Blue-ish? I think so. Because it was already like selected right there, so. Let's build the other path over here real quick. So it'd be like about right there, set the length to like five, and the dead end's gonna end right there. And I think that should be good, you guys, nice. And I guess we'll do the same, yeah, let's do the same thing where we have the first piece of wood right there as wood. And then uh, we'll make this clear glass. Boom, and glass, nice. But yeah, maybe I'll make the corners glass, or uh, wood. That might be cool. And then of course we could, yeah, we could use those as places to hang education boards for people to learn some stuff. Now, I don't think these guys need like unclimbable or anything like that, right? Yeah, I don't say anything about climbable, but maybe future creatures that'll like co-mingle with these guys. Maybe they'll need to be climb proof. And we'll worry about that when the time comes, but this is unfortunately going to be unpowered. Uh, no, it's not. It's just barely clipping right there. Nice. So if we add uh, like heaters or coolers or whatever over there, where are we at right now? I think we're in South America. I don't, know, I don't know if it actually says where we are, but I think on the map, the physical map before we came into here, it looked like we're like in South America. So I'm sure we're in a pretty warm climate right now. Probably don't need any heaters, right? Yeah, I didn't say anything about uh, like where we physically are. So uh, remember, we just came from India. It was like a whole thing about like being in India. So it was kind of strange that they're like not talking about where we are right now. <laughs> Anyways, now we have this completed. How many keepers do we have? Did we get two keepers or three? Yeah, we got two. I kind of want to get a third just so they could, you know, one keeper can hopefully tend to one species and then an the other keeper can tend to the other one. And then we could have a third just kind of, you know, hopefully cleaning both habitats and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I, I also wanted to add, edit this to have glass like so. I guess we'll add glass on those right there. That should be fine. Then we'll add wood on the corners. Like I said, maybe that'll be the theme. And of course, we don't need to add glass over here where the, the staff area is. So I think that, oh, yeah, like I still floating because I, I didn't place them down yet. There you go. Nice. So speaking of being placed down, let's go place down some beds and stuff inside the habitat, shall we? Because we've got a really cool habitat over here, you guys, with a with a cave, a custom made cave. I like this. I really need to do this more in the future. I like I like messing around with the terrain. They need to unlock that more often and unlock my creative potential. <laughs> and let's go down to Snow Leopard, wherever that was. There it is right there. And uh, let's go down to the, uh, wait, which one should we get? I kind of want to get the, the leaves. Just because it, it, it's like dirt and sand and stuff over here. Am I, the lights just aren't that bright, I guess. It's hard to see them. But I kind of want to get the leaves just because uh, you can actually physically see them a little bit better. So I guess large will probably be fine for these guys. There you go, get a couple of larges in there. Uh, let's get like three of them, I'd say. That should be fine. Let's get like four. There you go. And I guess we'll get the uh, terrain tool to smooth that out. There we go. Nice. All right. So now they have a pretty good hard shelter. Does this say the hard shelter in here? Or do I have to wait until the actual creatures? Oh yeah, they passed quarantine, didn't they? So we could just we could just deliver them like right now, huh? Yep. So let's go to snow leopard. Move you guys over to here, and let's actually name the snow leopard area. And uh, deselect, deselect, select, select. Move you guys into there. And let's name that one. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just name it Okapi for right now, if I remember how to spell that. O-K-A-P-I, I think. Uh, and then, of course, Snow Leopard over here. So let's do... Oh! Uh, there you go. Snow Leopard. There you go. And uh, let's actually add those to the staff work zone. Uh, front staff. Yeah, that... Uh, that should be fine, because it's, like, right next door. So we'd add that, no problem. So that should be good. And let's remember... Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! We have... Oh, man! There's a 228 people here already! Holy heck! What is the, uh... They already set the entry fee. They did. Three dot list at least start out at five. I'd say starting out at five. That, 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 maybe ten. Oh, God. What was that number right there? I have no idea. Jeez. <laughs> uh, quarantine full staff queuing for what? They're, they passed quarantine. What are they? Well, I guess maybe the, the, the people had to like queue to pick up the creatures and move them over here. But now they're moving the snow leopards over here. Oh, wait. They already did move them over. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, food, water. I keep forgetting about that. The most essential thing. I always forget about food and water, you guys. At least I got the cooler, so hey, that's good. Let's get the food trays. So, uh, food tray large and water pipe. There you go. Let's get a water pipe for these guys, uh, as well. 
Then of course we'll have to figure out which, uh, probably like a food trough, honestly, so I guess we'll get a food trough right there. And that'll be good for them, and, uh, let's actually, looks like they already placed down the snow leopards here, so that's good. Let's unpause. There we go. And let's see what these guys think. Wait, bat er, er bat erdine That's kind of a weird name, I've never seen it. What? How does this have zero? Oh, I think the, hold on, I messed it up, I'm probably getting comments. The Knoll Barrier is cutting off the cave over here. I need to make the Knoll Barrier go through the cave. Okay, hold on. I'm glad that I noticed that, like, immediately there, you guys. Holy heck. Now, where is the Snow Leopard? Yes, they're saying. <laughs> yeah, see it? It, like, cuts off up there. They can't even go inside the cave because it's illegal to do that, apparently. <laughs> so, let's actually uh, select from, like, yeah, select, like, all the Knoll. All the Knoll up to, like, here, I'd say. Select all those. Delete those. Uh, add some Knolls to... Uh, cause I don't, cause if they like accidentally like run outside of the, uh, no barrier area, it'll like yell at me. So I don't, I don't want that to happen. It'll, it'll be them technically escaping and stuff, you know, and I don't want that to happen. So, uh, it's actually hard to get a good camera angle. Well, I think I can, yes, like this. Yes, that's like, that's a better camera angle. Perfect. So it's, uh, trying to get the perimeter of this. The cave entrance, or cave, uh, insides marked with the knoll barrier thing. Why are, the, why are some of them blue and some of them are yellow? I noticed that in the elephant area that of course became the like Himalayan brown bear area in uh, the Indian map. Uh, some of them like turn blue, some of them are yellow. I don't know what that really means. Is it a complete thing or is it yelling at me? Oh, it seems fine, I guess. Okay, that's good. All right, unpause and let's go select a uh, snow leopard and see if they have a hard shelter rating. <gasps> Adopt and place the animals and yes, they do have the hard shelter rating. Awesome. And they're at 10,000 square feet out at 8,700. Perfect. Let's add some snow because they definitely want snow and there's way too much sand over here. So uh, I think the Okabees are probably being placed down or already placed down by now. But let's actually add some snow for <laughs> the snow leopards. And it looks like they're going up inside their cave. And let's actually add snow to like uh, set the intensity down to like maybe 70, I'd say. Add some snow here, like on the cave entrance, but not on the inside. That's going to be cool. Like pun intended, of course, right? There you go. Yeah, I like that. Really cool. And oh, oh, oh! Animal escaped. Is it? Is it because it technically went outside the uh, the null barrier? What happened? What happened? Where is it? Let's see. Oh wait, what in the what? Oh man, I forgot. Man, I whenever I change these over to wood on the corners, I forgot to make them climb proof. Probably getting comments about that. Golly! All right, well let's do the same thing on this side. I'm glad it wasn't the null barrier thing though, right? But uh. There we go. Let's actually get the uh, the vet. Actually, you know what? You, you could pay money to immediately box these guys up. So uh, emergency capture, $1,000. I'd say it'd be worth it. I'd say it'd be worth it. Boom. Captured. Immediately transported in this guy's second hands. That was crazy. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, hopefully it's going to get placed down just fine. So anyways, the cooler over here doesn't have the range to go all the way over there. So maybe, maybe we'll add a second cooler. That way we have a better range. So if we do that, we're going to move this one uh, to cover... The left side, like so. And then let's add a second cooler. Where would that be? Here. To cover the right side. That'll be like all that. Nice. All right, nice. Let's start uh, adding some more snow, and let's actually select one so we can see the snow rating on them go up. And of course, we need a decent amount. And of course, you know, just get rid of the sand too, because they do not like that sand. At least that much of it. So let's uh, start adding some snow. There we go. And let's, I guess we'll make the whole area snow, huh? Except for, of course, the inside of the thing. That, that that definitely makes sense to not have it inside there. Maybe I'll even add some snow on the cliff sides here. Just sprinkle it in a little bit, you know? There we go. I like that. And unfortunately, it's nighttime right now, so you can't really see stuff too well. But there you go. I like how it's, like, sprinkled in. It's not, like, pure white or anything like that. It makes it look, like, pretty real. I kind of want to have some on the edges here if I can. Uh, I guess you can't have it on the underside, huh? I don't think it makes sense. Second snow. But there you go. Uh, the cooler might need a third right there. I guess it'd be fine. I don't. I don't think we need another one right there. <laughs> At least right now, I'm like everything in front of them is fine. They have. They have. They're sufficient with the sand, the snow, everything like there. Uh, terrain's good. Environment's good. They, they're completely fine with completely barren uh, landscape over here. Of course, I'll probably add some trees just to kind of break it up a bit because it's it's kind of boring over here, honestly. It was just nothing, so definitely want to spice it up a bit. See if we have any enrichment stuff right about I doubt we do. But, uh, oh yeah, we have climb stuff, but no food, no drink, uh, no food, no toy enrichment, so. Uh, maybe we can get 
Yeah, we don't have any pre-made climbing memes. Do they need any climb rating? I don't think they did, if I remember correctly. No, they do not require any, so that's good. And, uh, we have 300 people in the park right now. Holy heck, that's actually pretty decent. Holy heck. Kinda wanna get the donation bins, cause I forgot about that. <laughs> so we're- we're missing out on money there, you guys. Yeah, I saw we had, uh, like $12,000 just a minute ago. Before we captured the, uh, the snow leopard that escaped. And now we're down to, like, uh, just under 10000 so... Technically losing money here, you guys. Let's add some of these on each corner and in the middle. Let's definitely add some... Uh... Right there. And, uh... So we'll add another one here. Sure, why not? <laughs> and let's add another one, like, here. That could be good. And we could do the same thing. Add some education boards. Like, oh, whoa, why is that, like, rotated? Wait, which way is that facing? It's hard to tell which... Is it upside down or what? I don't know, I'm going to place it like this. Hopefully it's not going to be upside down. <laughs> we'll set that to Okapi. Oh, man, it's upside down. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I can knew it. Ugh. And that should be fine. That's kind of tilted. Oh, whoops. Speaking of tilt, did not mean to- Oh! Whoops, did not mean to actually get rid of it right there, jeez. Uh, is that one upside down? Uh... Hey, it's not, and it's pretty straight too, so that's good. And it's... I'm like, there's plenty of room here. If we had like a zebra or something like that, we could have a zebra education board, like an elephant. I doubt we're gonna add an elephant, but you know, if we add other creatures, we could put another creature uh, education board right there. That, that leaves so much room for education rating here, you guys. And speakers, of course. Definitely want, don't want to forget about speakers. Uh, let's actually add a snow leopard education board there. And over here as well. Nice. And of course we need to add some... Let's do the same thing over here. Oh, it's not going to be powered over there, right? Yeah, I forgot about that. So that sucks. Maybe I'll add a education board there. There you go. Let's add a oak bee at least right now. And thankfully it's powered, so that's good. So that's snow leopard for this. Snow leopard over here. I'm glad that I caught the no donation bins thing. Relatively early, kind of late, though, because there's already 300 people and it's pretty heckin' crowded over here as is, but at the same- Oh! Uh, we also need to add trash cans, and we need to add benches, and other stuff, and what's really cool about this zoo is that it's- Oh, and here's the, uh, the transport thing that we need to make for, uh, whatever his name was. I forgot his name. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and yeah, we could do a riverboat meme, or, uh, oh yeah, he said gondola, specifically, he specifically said suspended gondola, so- that's going to be kind of crazy building that, you guys. <laughs> I, I guess maybe the steam train makes more sense, but he specifically said gondola, so I guess we'll add those. But what 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 type of trash can are we going to work with here? We don't have any uh, themes research, so we only have the default blue. Uh, well, we can color this any color we want, and of course there's a recycling bin there too. So uh, you know what? Let, let's place down the benches first, and then uh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just place down the standard Planet Zoo bench there, and uh, another one right there. And where are we going to place some more? So we'll place this one there. Place another one there. Place one there. There. And... I don't know, right there should be fine. And then we'll place one here at the end of the... Uh... Oh man, yeah, I knew that I'd probably place one over there. Uh, let's place this one, like, right across. There you go. That way, then, no, no matter if you're looking at the Okapis or the Snow Leopards, you can hang and donate to them there, so that's going to be good. Let's place a bench here at the very end. And now let's do the trash cans next to each bench. That way we could have places for people to throw away their trash if they know how to heck and use a trash can, right? And of course I need to start placing trash cans from the entrance to here because people don't know how to heck and wait to throw their stuff away, right? So uh, let's actually build some benches from here to the entrance as well. So that way we can, you know, fill in a bunch of trash cans. And uh, yeah, that's a good spot for it right there. And of course, let's remember, we want to put some uh, exhibits and shops and stuff towards the front here, too, so... Oh! Yeah, see, it kind of it kind of slopes down, so I can't, uh... But I might be able to place some trash cans here, right? Uh, no. I could do it right here. Okay, that's good. All right, so if you have trash, you're entering the park and you have trash, well, hey! Hopefully you can, uh, throw that trash away! So, let's, uh, place these here. And of course, we're dying to have some electricity. Because it is dark as heck over here. Oh, whoops. Eh, I guess I'll place that. There we go. But yeah, it's, it's dark as heck over here. Uh, all I have is my heckin' camera light, so... <laughs> there you go. But yeah, now we can unpause, and hopefully we're going to make some decent money. You know, we're not only going to be making money from entry fees, and hopefully we're going to make money from uh, people donating stuff, so that'll be good. Uh, we do have vets that are, I think, one at least, right? So we, I guess we'd have them uh, researching maybe like the Snow Leopard, or the... Let's do Snow Leopard, sure. Why not? And hopefully nothing pops up and actually occupies them. 
Uh, we're at 15,914 square feet out of 12,981. So we're, we're doing okay. They want a little bit more uh, grass and less, or short grass and less sand. So uh, let's actually add some short grass over here, shall we? And thankfully, it looks like the sun is coming out, so we can actually see a little bit better. There you go. That should be fine. All right, nice. Hard shelter, though. They don't have any hard shelter, so I definitely want to add something over here, especially because of the rain. I feel so sorry for them. So let's add a. Do I have them selected over here in the habitat? I don't think I do. I think I have snow leopard still. Let's go over to species. O for. Actually, I don't have anything selected right here, so. Over to snow leopard. Boom. Uh, oh, oh, man, I just said I had snow leopard selected, and then I <laughs> didn't have it selected, and then I selected it. So O for Okabe. There it is right there. Uh, I need to look up how to pronounce that. I might be pronouncing it correctly. Already did food and water, so that's good. Beds and shelter. Uh, we're probably going to have a decent amount of creators in here, so maybe I'll have a, a pretty big one. Yeah, maybe that, that'll be fine, at least for right now. We, we can expand it. We could get a bigger version of that in the future if we need a... Uh... Yeah, we can have it, like, right there. That good? Yeah, it's, like, right up against the mountain, basically. I kind of want to rotate just a little bit. Kind of make it, uh... Maybe push it back just a tiny little bit. It's kind of glitched into the wall there, but not that big of a deal, but... There you go, now they have a little bit of shelter there. Let's add some bedding so we can actually have something to lay on. Let's actually, uh, use the hay over here so we can actually physically see it. Uh, let's go to larges. Large or medium? Yeah, medium's probably good. I don't know. They kind of feel, they look like medium-large type creators. Maybe I'll just add some mediums in here. So, uh, let's add a medium there. Medium. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, placing these down. Yeah, that, that edits the terrain as well, so there you go. Then I guess I'll add some larges in here, too. Just kind of break it up a little bit. So, there's a large. And uh, maybe I'll add another one there. Another one there. And, uh, some more mediums, so sprinkle those bad boys in there. All right, nice. And uh, this one's, uh, these are kind of glitched out, so, or leaking on the outside, so let's make sure it doesn't do that. There you go. And what about this one? Uh, it's going to be easy for this because it's kind of flat on that side. And push it in a little bit, like so. All right, nice. Great, so now they have hard shelter over here. Hopefully they're going to be fine with that. And they are awesome. And uh, plants, yeah, they want, they want some coverage. They want Africa, tropical, Africa continent, tropical biome so oh we did it 300 guests 350 guests uh, you can really tell you dealt with that toxic waste the air doesn't taste like batteries anymore <laughs> yes overall the zoo's definitely beginning to take shape the customers seem happy and best of all almost none of them have developed respiratory problems as a result of their visit speaking of which nice work nursing all those poorly animals back to health it's a good job we rescued them and brought them into the zoo, eh? After all, the last thing we need is people being able to see animals outside the zoo for free. Oh, oh and one last thing. N now that the zoo is mostly clean, I'm arranging for Lin Lin to visit from the other zoo. It's going to take a little time, though, so don't worry about it yet. Just worry about everything else. Wasn't... Lin Lin the panda? From the panda park? We're gonna get a panda here? Hold on. Uh, have at least eight habitat species in the zoo. Uh, oh, adopt and place one giant panda. I think so, that's a part of the gold. Ooh, so I guess it's gonna take a little while for Lin Lin to get here if that is uh, the panda. So that's gonna be kind of interesting, you guys. But uh, I think right now we added some trees right there. I kind of want to see what they think about it. They're good with it, perfect, nice. I, I'm like right on the line right there, so that's good. So, yeah, let's add some bushes and stuff, too. I usually add them. I always talk about it. But, uh, let's add some bushes towards the, uh, the bottom of the trees. So, we have a little bit more plant. Just a little bit more plant coverage. And, uh, four meter, two meter. Let's get the four meter ones. Add a few more of them. Uh, it kind of makes sense to have a bigger bush near the bigger tree. So, there you go. And a smaller one near the smaller tree. Oh, nice. Now we're at 20%. Plants is at 94. I don't know why it's a little bit lower. Mangrove tree. Maybe I'll get this one right here. There we go. Just kind of have a difference of trees here. All right, nice. Now, what about the snow levers? What do they think of the area? Oh, look at the snow kind of like... Do you guys see it like flaking off the cliffside right there? That's cool. Snow leopards on the inside here. Any of them laying down? Maybe they're not even laying down on that kind of beddings. <laughs> At least they're inside the, uh, the hard shelter, though, away from the snow, so that's good. All right. Is it actually snow here, or is that rain? I can't tell. I think that's rain. That'd be cool if it, like, snowed specifically in the snow. And it's, like, flaking off the, uh, the hard shelter there, too. Do you guys see that? That's really cool. A little bit of detail, and I think it's clearing up right now, which is great. 